Okay, people. I've decided to do a quick, short, vlog-style video on my opinion of the Beyond Burger. I showed this in a grocery haul. Actually, the grocery haul is probably not up yet. This is going up before the grocery haul. But, I found this at our Kroger. I've been looking for it for over a year. It's some sort of new technology burger. I actually already buy this Beyond brand in the meatless crumbles and in the little chicken strips. Um, I've made wraps with those, but this is the Beyond Burger. So I've read reviews on this. I've seen some YouTube video reviews. I've seen taste test videos. I have not seen anything negative about this burger yet. I've heard nothing but awesome things. So they say it's supposed to look, smell, taste, and sizzle like a real burger. Now it does sizzle like a real burger because I've seen that, I've witnessed that in videos. Um, it looks like a real burger. It has a pink look to it. It's made with beet juices. That's what turns it pink, supposedly. But it doesn't take long to cook. It says three minutes per side, give or take. Um, Dennis is over there um, getting some patties made up of some real ground beef. Now, I don't really like to eat red meat, um, but I do occasionally, just occasionally, for a good burger. But I am going to try these. Um, I would suggest, Dennis, that you make your normal eight patties like you did last time. You hear me? Yeah. Because that way, in case these are disgusting, I'll have a couple. And if they're good, then they'll have a couple of extra burgers. So if this is delicious, this will change my life because I would much rather eat healthier. Um, now, I want to be the judge of how well it tastes. Everybody's taste buds are different. But I've seen taste tests where people say they couldn't even tell the difference. So Dennis is suggesting that I season one. Or let him season it because he's the master of seasoning burgers. And... So let him season one and then just not season the other one. That way I can just kind of taste them two different ways. Um, but they're both going to be on the grill. And I think I'm just going to do lettuce, pickles. No, I don't even know if I have any lettuce. If I have lettuce, lettuce and pickles and tomato. And I usually like just mayonnaise on my burger. I know my mayonnaise that I buy is made with eggs, so it's not vegan. Um... So I may or may not use mayonnaise. I'm not sure. I normally love cheeseburgers. Like cheese, cheese is my jam and I like cheese on my burger. Now you could just make it a vegetarian meal, a vegetarian burger. Plenty of people do that and have cheese on it. But I want to try to go all the way and not have any cheese. So I'm going to let y'all know how it tastes. I might show y'all what it looks like as it's cooking up on the grill. But I'll show you what it looks like when it's done for sure and give you my honest opinion. I look rough. This was just kind of last minute. I've been sweating all day. I'm sticky. I'm nasty. I'm grungy. I haven't colored my hair in forever. I don't even have much makeup on. But this is kind of spur of the moment. So we're going to grill burgers. I'm going to let y'all know what this tastes like. That slapping that and patties together. Slapping them patties together. So I'm anxious to try this. And plus, I'm starving. You know how everything tastes better when you're hungry? So I'm hopeful this is going to taste good. I'm really hungry. They sure smell good over there, all seasoned up. But I have faith and hope that this is delicious. It's close to the same coloring. That's a little lighter pink. Okay, I just opened it up to see what it smells like. At least raw? Mm, I don't know. It doesn't stink. You know, at least in my opinion, certain vegan patties smell bad to me. Like, they smell like it's plants in it. Like, it's, I don't know, it's just a bad odor. I can't explain it. But, like, it's not a bad odor. It's just different. I can't really tell. Hmm. They're a little um, squishy. Like they're tearing apart easy. I don't know that this is going to be easy to handle or season. So I think I'll um, not handle it anymore on camera because I need two hands for this. Okay guys, so they just got done. Dennis brought them in to me. So one of them is seasoned. Um, the same way the burgers are seasoned and then one is not seasoned. I just kind of wanted to taste what one tastes like straight out of the package. Um, if it's gross, you know, I can always add a little bit of seasoning to it now. I'm not 100% sure 
Which one is the seasoned one? I guess they're done. He said he was gonna cook them three minutes on each side like the package says, but they smell good. They smell really good. I mean, they smell almost exactly like a real burger, if not just like a real burger. I think I'm gonna taste a bite of each of these patties before putting it on a bun with the condiments. Okay guys, so here's the first bite of one of the patties right here. Hmm. And here's a bite of the second patty. I feel like that's the one that doesn't have seasoning. Mm. All right, I think that bite is the one Dennis added seasoning to. And I will say it probably depends on what seasonings you put on your patty, how much you put on each. He didn't just coat mine down with a bunch of seasonings, but he did put a little bit. Um, and the one that's seasoned, believe it or not, doesn't just taste too much different than the one that's not seasoned. So you could definitely eat this straight out of the package with nothing, no salt, pepper, no kind of seasoning or anything. And I think it would taste perfectly fine. I do feel like the seasoned one is a teeny tiny bit better than the non-seasoned one, but there's not much difference. I'm about to put this on a bun. I kind of want Dennis to try a little bitty bite because he's gonna be freaking blown away, y'all. I'm not kidding, I think I need to always keep just a few packages of these in my freezer. Now, like I said, they're a little pricey, so I'd have to buy like one every couple of weeks or one a month or something and just kind of let them add up, just two or three packages at a time, so that if I ever go to like get-togethers where they're barbecuing and having burgers on the grill, I can just take my little package of my two Beyond Burger patties and um, eat those because, y'all, I feel like I'm eating a real hamburger. I'm blown away. How can something plant-based taste this good? I, I don't even have words. I'm not even kidding. I can tell what that what people are saying on some of these videos I've seen are not lying. If I was to put this on a bun with all the condiments and kind of dress it up with like lettuce, tomato, pickles and all that and have someone have like a blind taste test of the two, I don't think people would notice the difference. I'm not kidding. This is good. I think I might let Dennis try a bite. But anyway, I'm going to try it with everything on the bun. All right, so here is my burgers all dressed up. I have a couple pickles, tomato, and lettuce. I normally love mayonnaise, but I just put a little dab of ketchup. Got some spiral fries. And I let Dennis try a bite of each on, um, you know, the bun. As you can see, they're kind of already bitten out of. So me and him tried each one dressed up. I also let him try a bite just by itself plain. And his opinion was this. Me and him both agree that it does not taste like a vegan burger. I have bought vegan patties and I, I let everybody in the house try them. Isaac, Andre, we all tried them. To be honest, they were they were pretty nasty. They tasted plant-based. It tasted like you were eating mashed up vegetables on a bun. I didn't like them. This blows my mind. Now, in Dennis's opinion, it doesn't taste like traditional ground beef, but it tastes like a, he said a supreme soy burger, or like the burgers that you get in the cafeteria at school, but I find it to taste better than that, because <laughs> Andre looked at me crazy, he doesn't like burgers at school, I actually always love burgers from school, uh, it depends where you go to school and who makes them, but no, this actually tastes better to me than a school burger, plain by itself with no condiments, it was good, with condiments and on a bun, all dressed up, it's delicious. I'm definitely gonna continue buying these and I'm going to uh, keep a couple packages in my freezer and uh, take them to barbecues and let people barbecue these for me on the grill versus regular ground beef because I like it. Like, if Dennis eats it and he says, oh yeah, I could eat those, I could eat those for sure, then I know it's good. Dennis said if I ever made him become vegan, <laughs> like if I just flat out stopped buying meat, he said he would demand that I buy these all the time. So they're pricey, we'd probably go broke buying them, but he liked them, so that that's saying a lot. Like I'm surprised, like the texture is like meat. Like as you're chewing it, it doesn't taste like you're eating any kind of vegetable. It's a texture of like, like meat, ground beef. It chews like it, it goes down like it. In fact, as you swallow it, you almost get like a hint of a real beefy taste. But the texture is very much like a regular hamburger. It doesn't taste like you're eating mashed up vegetables. I don't know how this Beyond Company 
came out with this technology, but I'm honestly amazed. Like, technically, to be honest, as picky as my kids are with vegan food, they could eat these, and I guarantee they would not say they're nasty. There's no way. They taste like a regular burger, except like Dennis said, in his opinion, they don't taste like super traditional ground beef, but it tastes... It still tastes like a regular burger, if that makes sense. But that's my review. I can't think of anything else I kind of wanted to add. But if you have any questions about it, leave them down below. I just kind of want to get on here and do a quick, very casual, um, non-professional review of this burger. But I'm about to enjoy them. And I will see y'all in my next video. If y'all want to give me any more review ideas, I will definitely try them. But y'all, these are really, really tasty. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.